Violetta says, question, how would you respond to this? You aren't really that interested in me, are you? It is okay, no hard feelings. It's not committed relationship, one month, two dates. Well, if I were you, Vieta, there's two ways to kind of look at it, right? One way is to look at it and say, okay, is my behavior reflecting to him the idea that I'm not really interested in him? And so how do you know if somebody's interested in you? Violetta, Violetta, what's your name? Violetta. You know somebody's interested in you because they tr reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They're excited to meet up with you. They, you know, plan dates and they go to those dates and make sure that they're there. You know, how do you know somebody's not interested in you? They don't reach out. They send, you know, one word text messages back to you. They uh, flake on your dates. They don't show up for dates. They recancel dates. They don't schedule dates at all right? Any of that kind of stuff. They don't try to have a conversation with you. Any of that kind of stuff, right? Shows that you're not interested. And so what you want to do is you want to look at your behavior because there's something out there that I call the attainability principle. And the attainability principle says that uh, if you come off like uh, you're not attainable, most guys will not continue to pursue you. And so he has to feel like he can attain you at some point in the future. Like you can actually be in a relationship together at some point in the future. If he's going to continue pursuing you because he only wants to pursue women. Most men only want to pursue women who are also interested in them because he wants to be valued. He wants to be cherished. He wants a woman who looks up to him and thinks that he's amazing and values him and thinks that he's absolutely awesome. And so if your behavior is reflecting that you're not actually interested in him, that's something to look at, but it might not be that, right? So it might be that it might not. That's the first thing you want to look at though. Is my behavior showing, am I not responding to his text messages? Do I ignore him? Am I, you know, flaking on dates? Do I uh, never reach out to him? Like any of those kinds of things show him that you're not actually into him. And so if you're doing that, you want to change that behavior. If you're not doing that, you want to look at, is this an insecurity thing of his? It's hard to say. It's probably not. It's probably more of an attainability thing because you're talking about uh, one month. I mean, two dates though, in one month, like one date every two weeks, you know, is he trying to reach out to you? Is he trying to set up dates? Are you one of those people who just has absolutely no time? And so you're like, you know, I've got one time here in a week and a half that we can meet up, right? Those are the things that you want to look at, Violetta. And you want to determine whether that's, it's on you or it's on him, or it's a combination of the two of you. If it's a combination of the two of you, what you want to do is you want to reach out to him and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, you weren't really setting up dates. So I, I didn't really think that you were that interested in me. Um, you know, I'd love to meet up with you and I'd love to hang out with you. Um, you know, if you want to set up a date sometime soon, let me know. And, you know, we can set that up and we can go on a date. And if it's you, what you want to do is you want to say, Hey, I'm sorry. I realize, uh, you know, I've been really busy lately. Um, I would really like to meet up with you. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not disinterested in you. I don't know you that well. We've only been on two dates so far. You know, the dates that we have had, I, I think have been great, but you know, like if you want to set up another date, you know, I'm happy to go on it with you. I I'd like to learn more about you and, uh, you know, whatever. Right. And if it's just him, right. If it's in a scenario where it's just him, then you probably don't want to date him at all, right? If you have been showing a lot of interest and you know that you've been active with him and you know it's completely him and his insecurities and his issues, then uh, you can you can attempt to just be like, hey, um, you know, I haven't really gotten that much interest, or uh, you know, it didn't seem like you were that into me either. So you know, I, I whatever, right? Um, and see if he picks up the ball and takes it and runs with it. But uh, if it's his insecurities and his issues like that, it's going to be a long road for him to develop. 
And the, the question you want to ask is whether you actually want to be with a guy who's like that or not. Does that make sense, Violetta?